So hello everyone and welcome to another, well, preview or review basically of the MyUI ROM, MyUI 5 running on the Samsung Galaxy S4 this time. Today I'm going to show you what the features of this ROM are, what the disadvantages and what the advantages are of changing from the, well, stock Android or the even the stock Samsung firmware to something like the MyUI ROM, which is completely different from the normal Android ROMs in delivering a sort of iOS style interface while keeping some of the awesome features like the widgets from the uh, Android firmware. It basically combines iOS with Android, which is really the perfect mix which I'm looking for. I'm using this ROM on a daily basis and I really can't say that I have any problems with it apart from the browser app, which occasionally crashes, but I have a replacement for this, which is Firefox, a free browser which you can get from the Play Store, obviously, or you could change to Chrome. It is a really amazing ROM which allows you to basically combine the Apple ecosystem with the one from Google, for example. I have the Google Play Store while using the iCloud application from Apple service on my mail app, which um, basically allows me to combine these two without any problems. So let's go right in and start with some of the advantages. First of all, when we tap the settings app, we can see that there's a lot of options available to us, including the developer options becoming available to us directly from default, which is really amazing because it delivers advanced settings to us, which basically allows us to endlessly customize our phone. These settings are really advanced compared to the ones you would find in an iOS device or in the stock Samsung or Google firmwares that you can get on the Samsung Galaxy S4. Now, moving on, um, some of the amazing features in My Wi Fi is, <clears throat> is the ability that you can customize pretty much any of the features that come with My Wi. And how you can do this is with the official themes app, which comes right with My Wi, is um, this separate store basically for all the stuff that you can customize. So, for example, there are themes, like complete themes that change everything on your phone um, that you can either buy or download for free. And then there's also different features like um, you can change different elements at a time. For example, you can change the, uh, what is it? For example, the status bar. You can just change the status bar if you want and keep everything else from another theme. So basically this allows you to endlessly customize everything. So you can see this just changes the status bar and then you could have um, the lock screen be from a different theme. Basically allows you to customize it endlessly um, which really enhances experiences and uh, helps me since I love to edit around on my phone and it just it's super easy, super fast and also very stable. Another thing I would like to mention is the fact that the security options here are really amazing. There's around nine apps that allow you to protect, update and uh, guard your phone with a lot of uh, options coming available to you, really enhancing experience in the way that you feel safer on your phone. It also has an application, especially for your permissions app, which allows you to have a look at which apps have certain permissions. Moving on, we can have a look at the official widgets by just tapping anywhere in the screen. This menu pops up, allows us to swipe between different pages and down here it allows us to add different widgets directly onto your lock screen. And we can edit those directly by having a look at the different themes that are either available locally to us or online. This is amazing since it allows us to not only switch between different style of widgets but only but also it allows us to switch between different styles all around uh, the combined interface of my Y. Now moving on, we can have the photos, for example, they pop up into this really nice animation, giving us a clear overview of what's available. Okay, now moving on. One thing I'd like to mention is before you install this ROM, make sure that your SIM lock is completely unlocked, otherwise this ROM will not work. I will also send a link down in the description to XDA Developers, which will give you a full guide as to how you can install this ROM easily and with no problems on your S4 device. Now, one other thing I love about this phone is the fact that you can even customize your notification center. Well, that's at least what it's called on Apple, or just the notification bar as you would see it on Android. Now, as you can see, as I switch down here, you can uh, see that I have these different toggles or settings available to me directly. If I had a notification 
and I swiped it down, it would open the notifications and not the uh, advanced settings. And by swiping over to your notifications, you just swipe over and swipe back. It's really easy. It has a really nice and smooth feel to it as well. Now, one other thing I really love about this phone, concluding, is the music app. The music app is absolutely amazing and super fast. I love the animations when it swipes across and has this really sweet, sort of smooth style to it. Looking up, you can have a look at everything. It's it's really amazing and it searches for all your MP3 data um, and it puts them directly into your folder so you don't have to worry about anything or putting each song in manually. It's really awesome. It also works great with the uh, one tool that I got. It's called, what is it, TubeMate, which allows you to download uh, YouTube videos as MP3 and then it directly puts them into my music app, which really helps me and saves a lot of time because I don't have to put them on the computer and then put them on my phone again or whatever. Another thing that we see right here is um, there's a folder called Tools, which gives us the torch, for example, that allows us to lighten up our phone. Or we can have a uh, transfer app, which allows us to transfer it between different MyUI applications or services. A compass, a clock, and a monitor application, which allows us to have a look at how much data we used uh, over a day or over a certain period. And it tells us uh, when our limit for the day is reached and we can set this manually, which really helps me, for example, to uh, keep an overview as to how much mobile data I've used and not. Now, let's go to some of the disadvantages of my UI. Is the fact that theming is it very much it enlightens experience in the fact that you can have endless possibilities, but these are limited to the my UI system, in a sense. And the other thing about my UI is you have to change a lot. Coming from an Android device, you're really new to this whole experience. And now since I've owned an iPhone before, it was easier for me to get along with everything and get everything set quickly because, let's be honest, this really looks like an iPhone. And uh, one other thing is occasional crashes may occur. Uh, this doesn't happen to me any uh, any time yet, but I heard some forums that a lot of people complain about it being a bit unstable. I haven't experienced any of this yet, except for one crash, as I've just mentioned, and yet I've said that the browser application occasionally does not work. We can try to open it right now. Usually it will work and function perfectly, but as we can see here, unfortunately, browser has stopped, so sometimes, yes, it crashes. Now, one last thing is, in order to completely enhance experience on the MyUI 5, uh, firmware, we need to install Google Apps, and this has to be done manually, but without a problem, G Apps is really easy to install, and it comes right in with the uh, XDAF developers forum. You just download that zip file, and it'll add as an update to the MyUI system. Once that's installed, it feels just like a normal Android phone with everything. An app store, a mail app, music, themes, setting, it just feels like a normal and complete phone with endless possibilities to customize and it's really cool you can show off to your friends and say hey look at my awesome theme and they'll be like whoa you have an iPhone but you can say that this is actually a real firmware and not an actual theme that just fakes everything this is a real firmware and it just works so smoothly and nicely this is the best firmware I've ever been on and um, I'm gonna use this for another while until a more stable version will come out so, well, that is it, my small review on the MyUI 5 ROM on the Samsung Galaxy S4. Stay subscribed for future videos showing you how you can tweak and um, theme or work around some of the awesome features for your Samsung Galaxy S4. Like this video to support me, and yeah, until then, peace.